Hi my loves, thank you for returning to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel guys. So for this look today, I'm going to be doing a holiday inspired look, which is super easy and simple for Christmas. Starting this look off with freshly washed hair, I washed it with the main choice new ancient Egyptian line which I want to fully rave about but that's not the star of the video. But all I can say is that I used the shampoo and the conditioner which I detangled with the shampoo. Do you guys hear me? I detangled with the shampoo. I followed that up with the conditioner and then I deep conditioned with the deep conditioner from the same line. And for this look today, I'm going to be using the daily moisturizer and sealing cream with, I think that's in the tropical Moringa oil and honey line. And it also came with the daily restorative spray, which I'm going to be using as you can see in this clip right here. Right here, you guys will notice that I'm lightly dusting my ends. Whenever I notice that my ends are looking a little raggedy, looking a little straight or whatever, I just go ahead and cut it and get it out the way. Now I'm going to be adding in the cream moisturizer. Um, I want you guys to notice something. What I'm doing right here is that I'm forming layers for my hair. I added the spray, I added the moisturizing cream. I'm also going to add some of the ancient Egyptian anti-breakage oil before I put gel into my hair. I think that it's very important to always moisturize your hair before adding a gel. Because sometimes gels can be very, very, very drying to your hair. Even though the Eco Style Online says that they don't use any alcohol, it can still cause your hair to dry out. So ladies, please moisturize your hair first. Now I'm going to take my detangling brush that I got from Sally's over a year ago and go ahead and just detangle my hair. And then I'm going to add the gel into my hair. Guys, this is the star of the show right here. This is the Eco Styler Coconut Oil Gel, which it says that it gives you a maximum hole. And trust me, it does without that whole crunchy feeling that you normally get. And please don't mind the parang playing in the back. Like, y'all know I'm Trinidadian, I'm sorry. It's that time of the year, parang gotta, gotta be playing. I'm baking bread, I'm making ham, I'm drinking cereal. But anywho, let me stop rambling. What I did with that front portion is that I split it into three sections. I detangled it. I'm going to put gel around the edges to make sure it's nice and sleek. I'm going to go ahead and add a rubber band and I'm going to pin it up and get it out the way so I can finish the back portion. What I'm going to do right now is go ahead and spray my hair with water, aloe vera juice, and olive oil. I'm just spraying my hair because it started to feel a little dry and I'm just going to spray it all around the perimeter. What I went ahead and did, because I know I showed you guys in the first section that I put the spray in my hair, then the cream, and I followed up with the oil. But for throughout my whole hair, what I did was, the first step was that I sprayed it with the moisturizing spray from the Moringa line. I hope I'm saying it right. Then I followed that up with the moisturizing cream. I added the anti-breakage oil treatment. And then what you guys didn't see, or I think you guys did see it, what I did was that I added some of the split ends treatment. It comes in like a little bottle. It's all a part of the ancient Egyptian line. And I added that onto my ends just for further protection. Now, as you guys can see here, I'm, I'm playing myself right now. So I thought I was trying to slick down my edges, but once I started brushing it, everything just started falling apart. But I want you to take something away from me. I making this video, I was truly discouraged. Like everything that could have possibly went wrong went wrong. Like my the some portions of the video was not in focus. Then some of my sound wasn't working. Like I mean, it was just going all wrong. And one part of me, I was just like, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to try another video. But sometimes in life, you know, you get obstacles thrown in your way. You just got to pick up the pieces and keep it moving. And that's exactly what I did. So back to my hair because I know y'all don't want to hear all the mumbo jumbo. What I'm going to do right here now, I'm going to go ahead and try to go sleep down my edges. Um, and my edges are mad disrespectful, but I'm, I'm going to tell y'all about her later on in the video. Like, she don't got no respect. I feed her, I take care of her, and she stay wanting to play me. Like, I slick her down. Two seconds later, she did curling right back up. But what I did was that I took some of the, um, the coconut oil eco styler, put it on my edges, and I got a rat tail comb, and I just basically did some swoops. 
and then for this section right here I'm going to split it into two and I'm going to make a like a cute little design I'm going to put it around back get a bobby pin and then pin it down into my ponytail that's what I'm going to do then I'm also going to get some cute hair accessories and I'm going to put it I'm going to cover the rubber bands with the hair accessories just to hide it and make the make the hairstyle look a little more jazzed up And just in case anyone is wondering, the reason why I'm wearing gloves is because I'm wearing acrylic nails. Now normally when I'm wearing nails, I tend to snag my hair a lot. So to avoid that and to avoid my hair breaking, I just throw on some gloves. enjoyed this tutorial this is the final look this is actually the day after I did this look last night tied my hair down and then I took it off this morning now my edges are something else so even though I gelled it down yesterday by the time I took it off this morning it started to curl back up so I put some more of the coconut eco styler gel back on it slicked it down as you can see and it's acting okay for right now, but knowing this heifer when I go outside, excuse me, I'm talking. When I go outside, she gonna act up and it's gonna curl the hair right back up. My hair is super duper soft. I don't have that crunchy feeling that I normally get from the Argan Oil Eco Styler and the Olive Oil Eco Styler, which is like a huge bonus for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I don't know what y'all waiting on. Like, come on. Join the team. Oh my god, this kid. <laughs> What's wrong with... <laughs> don't mind this kid in the back, because he don't know how to act. <laughs> Bye, guys. Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Saya. Bye.